I remember walking in and you had that Selena shirt on. <laughs> and you know how I feel about Selena. You love you some Selena. I do. And I was like, oh, tribute. And the red pants and the leather jacket, and you were just like a tornado of energy. <laughs> <laughs> Premeditation, Sarah. Yeah. Um, but it was refreshing because you just showed up as yourself and loud and proud. Loud and proud for <laughs> sure. It was beautiful. <sighs> Me? I think so. When was the first moment you knew I loved you? Oh, you knew I loved you. Oh, that's a switch. Do you get it? <laughs> I think so. Okay. First moment I knew you loved me. Yeah. Um, I think it was when you came up to the beach that weekend at my birthday weekend. Oh. Yeah. Was that too early? I don't, you, I don't know. you not love me then? I, <laughs> <laughs> I think I loved you then. Yeah. But it was early. Well, leading up to that, we had talked for like, I don't know, it seemed like 24 hours straight, just going back and forth. And the how easily that conversation flowed was, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, the attention you were placing on me in the conversation and I could just feel you know I didn't know it felt like love but I'm you know I'm not sure no, that's really sweet yeah do you want me to answer sure um there was a car ride I remember like the we'd gone up to Biddeford but then another time you asked me to like go up because you left your purse remember you left your purse at the beach house, so we drove all the way up to get it. And we got lunch, and we sat on the beach, or like those rocks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And on the way home, you were holding my hand in the car. And I think I could feel it then. Yeah. When did you see me most vulnerable, and what did it teach you about loving me? Um, I think in the beginning, a lot of times after we would sleep together, you'd have kind of a mini breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> um, and be like, this isn't me, I'm not gay. <laughs> Those kind of moments when you were just like really, I think, scared. You were really vulnerable then. Um, and I think what it taught me was that I had to be really patient with you and not push you or just make it a safe space for you so that it didn't feel like you couldn't say those things, that you had to like hide it or pretend mm -hmm. that you were like, okay. I'd say that was the time. Oh, thanks, babe. What do you think I'm hesitant to talk to you about and why? I think maybe just the ne taking the next step in our relationship. I think you're hesitant a little bit because you, I don't want to label your experience, but my perception of it is that um, there's some fear and uncertainty about the future. And um, I don't, you know, in bringing that up, that it can create, a um, number of possibilities and the mere fact that there's a lot of uncertainty about the future is um, there's some hesitation with with bringing up conversations about it I think I was gonna say the same thing yeah yeah <laughs> I agree with that one okay for both of us well that good we're on the same page mm -hmm. we won't talk about it <laughs> just kidding yeah I think I think at this point it's um, like a sink or swim kind of moment. You know, if we're going to move forward and I, and I move here and our relationship moves forward, that's exciting and it's also kind of nerve wracking at the same time. 
And it's funny because while in the past I would have been very gung ho and like loud about it, now I'm more nervous and I think it makes it a little more difficult to talk about for both of us. When do you feel the sexiest around me and what does it teach you about yourself? When do I feel the sexiest? I feel like I always feel sexy around you because you're always making me feel sexy. But I guess that's a cop out. Um, That's not, that's how you feel. I think... You are sexy. (laughs) So are you. (laughs) Probably, I don't know when, like when the mood is right, when you could just tell the night is going to move in a certain direction, Mm -hmm. Um, which is most nice, I guess. (laughs) Um, And I'd say like, I don't know how much of this I want to go out to the world, but when we're first undressed, I probably feel the sexiest mm-hmm. in anticipation. Mm-hmm. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, I, have, I haven't really thought about this before, but before this card, but when we have, yeah, like date nights or we, we get dressed up and it kind of similar to your point where uh, it's exciting and, you know, the mood is right. It kind of starts at like the plan, mm-hmm. right? So like, and then uh, the plan goes forward until till the end of the night. And Should we go on a date tonight? <laughs> 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 Where do you see us in six months? <laughs> Let's talk about the future. <laughs> or where do you want to see us in six months? Mm-hmm. Where I truly would love to see us in six months is um, in a healthier place that we've worked through all of the kinks. Mm -hmm. Um, We've worked through, we've, because our communication's so good, you know, we can work, we've always had been able to work through all of these things. And my hope is we can continue to do that so that we don't have all this distance between us and you were in the same place you move out to you know to live with me and our three cats and one dog (laughs) (laughs) our little farm yeah maybe get another kitten or puppy i'm down (laughs) let's do that today and just live the the cali dream life yeah same and be healthier than ever I mean, we're putting the work in. I'd like to see kind of the fruits of that work. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to be in a really secure place, both myself and in our relationship. Um, I'd love to be with you and our kitten and puppy and dog and three cats. Um, yeah. I'd love a house on the beach. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, all of that. What do you think I need from you? And are you providing it? I think that you need a lot of reassurance that we're okay, that we're going to be okay. Um, I may not always provide it in the ways that you need. Um, I think you need everything that we do have, like the genuine love and, and attention and caring. And um, Yeah, I think I'll keep it. I'll leave it there. <laughs> leave it simple for this one. Um. I think you need me to be open-minded about the future. And I'm trying to provide it, but I wouldn't say that I am. Wow, 
Why am I in your life? <laughs> um, why are you in my life? I think at least the first thing that jumps in my head is you've made me a lot kinder. I'm, I see the good in people a lot more since I've been with you. I don't stress the negative as much. I think, I think I've always had like a positive person in me, but being with you, I've, it makes it so that I water that part of me more. I think about, I, you know, I'm, I concentrate more on seeing the good and being kind. And I think that also has a ripple effect. You know, it's good for people around me and it makes me feel better. And um, yeah, I'd say that's a big thing. You're amazing. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Why are you in my life? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you came into my life to help me explore a part of me that I kept repressed for many, many years, and that was my sexuality. You know, I think that. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am now. Oh, yeah. Suddenly. <laughs> You know, I think that, well, you know the story that multiple therapists along the way told me I wasn't, you know, gay and to kind of re continue to repress those feelings and growing up Catholic. And there were, there's so many things that kind of led me to, away from what felt truly real to me. And when you came into my life, you allowed me the space to explore that further. And I've never been happier with myself because I don't feel like I am kind of living this life that like running around with a chicken with my head cut off. Like I don't know who I am or what direction I'm going in. I don't know why things don't feel right in certain relationships. And it's been kind of the most beautiful intersection of just finding myself and growing our relationship and I'm really grateful for that. I love you too. Yeah. <clears throat> this one's dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, if this were to be our last conversation ever, what would you never want me to forget? that I'm grateful for the most beautiful love you've ever given me. And it, just because things didn't work out, it wasn't a reflection of you. Mm. That's a good answer. <sighs> Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation and want to ask these questions to your own partner, check out the And Couples Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.